the former Arsenal player Jack Wilsh has gone ahead to drop a huge Declan Rice to Arsenal transfer hit that most of you are really going to like. He was on AFTV Media and went ahead to really get out the statement that really made on Declan Rice joining Arsenal. Welcome to Rokani Media Football. It's the Arsenal transfer news. As we talk Grant Xhaka and obviously what would have been his replacement that has found himself not joining Arsenal and he's undergoing his medical down in Portugal to join a side known as Benfica. Story confirmed as by Fabrizio Romano and looks like Arsenal are sold onto an idea of really buying only one player, Declan Rice for starters. They don't want to spend any penny elsewhere before they get this deal of Declan Rice out of the way. So much like Barton close to 200 times and obviously let's spread the love by subscribing to this channel remember we want to hit 14,000 subscribers and we are left with just a minimum of subscribers to hit that target so guys go into the lower right bottom corner smash the black button that has the word subscribe after smashing it hit the notification bell that will enable you get notified every time we upload a video onto this channel now it's really a very good day for us to talk about Grant Jaka as being recommended or commended by the former Arsenal captain and invisible that is Glibato Silva he has thrown in lots of things that maybe Mikel Ateta might look in through and obviously say Jaka you are going nowhere. I don't know whether there is a high or a huge number of Arsenal fans or the, the vast majority of Arsenal fans wanting him to stay because I see most of you saw the night of getting Kishido and Declan Rice and everyone on this channel believes that if at all Arsenal gets in Kishido and Declan Rice then even if Shaka leaves no loss would have been made. So let's wait and see how that's going to pan out but obviously it's the Rokani media. Let's get into this Declan Rice story. Jack Wilshere being interviewed by the AFT media, he said the following onto Jack. He said the following onto Declan Rice. He said, I saw his interview last night after the UEFA Europa League conference final, and I think he made it clear that he knows there is speculation and everyone knows that Arsenal are interested. So Jack Wilshere we're talking about is a coach at Arsenal for the under 18s. Now, coming out and saying that Arsenal is interested is a confirmation that Declan Rice also knows it, that Arsenal is interested. And remember, they are close friends. They are close friends. This is Jack Wilshere and Declan Rice at West Ham, as you see that photo. They are close, close friends. And he is one of those people that Arsenal is used to, tell, to really convince Declan Rice to come and join the club of Arsenal. So as it stands, Declan Rice knows it very well. There is speculation and everyone knows that Arsenal are interested. And he never went ahead to turn, that, to turn, down, to turn down that rumor. And you go to Mikel Ateta, ask him whether Arsenal is interested. He'll tell you, I don't talk to players. I don't talk about players that are not at Arsenal. But... The under-18 coach of Arsenal, that is Jack Wilshere, has gone ahead to confirm to us that Arsenal's interest in Declan Rice is genuine. And we know all that, but you won't get it from any, any hierarchy of the club. But the under-18 coach has confirmed to us that that's the cause, or that's the way Arsenal are really going to go and attack the deal. He went, and said, he went ahead and said, listen, I would love to see Deck, that is Declan Rice, at Arsenal. I think what Declan Rice has... I think what Declan Rice has done as a young player for West Ham, for England, like to lift a trophy of the Conference League with West Ham, but also he's their main man. To have that on your shoulders at 23-24 is really special. And after that game, I came out and we recorded a video that if you're an Arsenal fan, you're supposed to be elated about what Declan Rice achieved on Wednesday. Lifting that trophy means a lot to a team of Arsenal that if they happen to learn the signing of Declan Rice, they would have gone ahead to add another winner onto their team. And that winning mentality is really great because Declan Rice's mentality is no longer the same as it used to be before he went ahead to lift that trophy. The moment you lift a trophy and you are among a team of winners, you have a different topic. You have a different a different you have you're having different thoughts altogether let me bring to you a clear example coming from Arsenal you know <clears throat> before Jesus came in through and Zinchenko the Arsenal board was all about going to the Champions League you know finishing the top four positions of the league but 
Jesus came in through first and told them, I understand that is really the ideal target, but let's target higher. When we target higher, we'll find ourselves being in the Champions League and maybe fighting for the title. And that's what exactly happened. They set the targets high to win the trophy and they gained their target of going back in the Champions League. Now, if you bring on Declan Rice, having won that trophy over the weekend, sorry, over Wednesday midweek, he's going to add more, more winning push to the trophies that Arsenal are really wanting. And every day, he'll wake up thinking, if I won a trophy at West Ham, how come I'm not winning at Arsenal? He'll raise questions to himself and will find solutions with fellow players to come out and obviously get them to where they deserve to be. And secondly, he's a captain. He's a leader, meaning that you are losing Grant Xhaka, a player who has been an assistant captain in the field of play, and you're bringing another player, younger, 24 years of age, who is also a captain and a leader. So Jack Grealish is hitting the nail on its top. Then he concluded on and said, anyone that gets him, I hope it's Arsenal because I think he'll be sensational for the next eight to 10 years and eventually he could be an Arsenal captain. So I hope he does come, but it's down to him. So quote that last statement very well. I hope he comes or he does come, but it's down to him. Meaning that Arsenal have gone ahead to do the groundwork. Everything is done and dusted. Now, it's up to the player to decide. And we know that decision that Declan Rice has gone ahead to make that he's really going to join Arsenal and Arsenal are yet to make a bid of Declan Rice. And I don't know why Arsenal is taking long to make a bid of Declan Rice, but as it stands, it's confirmed. Arsenal are interested into Declan Rice. And this is Jack Wilshere and Declan Rice playing for West Ham. But talking about him being the captain of Arsenal, I doubt, I doubt, because not until Odegaard leaves Arsenal, no other player is going to captain that team. That player is not there. Why? He's a real face of a captain. He's calm. He's composed. But Declan Rice being a vice captain, that's okay. He can come in through and obviously become the vice captain of the club. But I know what Mikelata will do is that he cannot get in a player immediately and really make him the vice captain of the club. Maybe he'll make him one of the five captains of the club. Jesus will come next to Odegaard, you know. Then, is there Aaron Ramsdale? Aaron Ramsdale comes third. So, Declan Rice might come third, but he cannot be... I don't see him as the vice captain of Arsenal. That's it. But with time, he might come the second captain of Arsenal. But being the captain of Arsenal and Odegaard is still there. I find it very, very hard for Declan Rice to achieve it. But being there for the next 8 to 10 years, that is possible because English players are really proud playing for their teams. And I think in the modern football, a player can play until 34 years of age when he's still at his peak. We've seen the likes of Luka Modric, Tony Kroos, you know, look at Grant Xhaka, Thomas Partey, look at Casemiro, 31. He doesn't look like he's 31. So a player can play and really hit that level when he's still at 34 years of age. So I think Wilshere has been really on point and I don't know what you guys make about Jack Wilshere's hint of Declan Rice to Arsenal. I had to bring this story in the morning because it was really hot and I said Arsenal fans need to know what Jack Wilshere has gone ahead to say about his friend who really goes ahead to play for West Ham. And remember, Declan Rice has always inquiring from Jack Wilshere what Arsenal is like. So, he's so much sold onto an idea to come in through and obviously play for Arsenal and Arsenal are leading the rest. Bayern Munich have, have gone ahead to admit defeat that looks like Arsenal have been putting in a lot of work into this deal and we cannot really go ahead of them. Even Fabrizio Romano confirmed it that Arsenal is the front runner of this deal. So, Xhaka Granit, one of those players that we believe are going to leave Arsenal this summer. What is really delaying his move? It's because Arsenal have not yet signed in Declan Rice, but no sooner Declan Rice arrives at Arsenal than Grant Xhaka joins Bayern Lever. Kuse. Now, as it stands, 
Gilberto Silva Apresido, you know, he played for the Invisibles and he is a World Cup winner, you know, in 2002. That's when Arsenal brought him after winning the World Cup. He played for Arsenal for some good four, five years and then left. But he has lots of things to say about Arsenal. Yesterday, I brought you what he really said about Arsenal and not winning the trophy. You know, now he is going to hate to say the following about Granite Xhaka. He has said, this year, Xhaka has done so well for the team. He had a tough time two years ago, but regained the confidence of the club and the fans, especially and did fantastic. I would be sad to see him leave. It would be great to have him stay a little more at the club. I understand his point of view, but when you look at the demands of the club of Arsenal and where the future of Arsenal really lies, you can't demand for a player like Xhaka to stay. I understand he went ahead to give Arsenal some good time, but he's a mechanic, according to me. He's not that kind of player that Mikel Arteta would love to see play into his midfield, you know? You see, Arteta wants a double signing of Declan Rice and Moise Kesido for a reason, because he knows if I'm having a youthful midfield, I can easily go ahead and win very many games, you know, especially those games against Man City, Manchester United, Liverpool, because a youthful midfield really brings a lot of energy and intensity, you know, onto the pitch. Bothroyd, one of the Arsenal boys that came in from the academy and really misbehaved and was really sucked out of the Arsenal team, was on Sky Sports and really said the following that, even if you are talented and you can not work on your physicality and intensity on the field of play, a player who is under talented and can run and put up a lot of interest in the field of play can win a game of football over you. But if at all you are talented and you work hard, you increase your intensity, then your talent will show up and beat the other one who is under talented, even if he is more intense and more physical. You get so this is the plan of Mikel Arteta. He wants players that are more physical and can cover more distances and are hungry to win. Xhaka is in his early 30s. You cannot expect to have Xhaka, Thomas Partey, and um, Thomas Partey and Jorginho, you know, in that midfield when you are when all those players are in their early 30s. The only youthful player you are having in your midfield is only Martin Odegaard, meaning that he has to go in for youthful midfielders as he's aiming to go into the Champions League. And for Xhaka, work well done. What a season I was going to hate to have for Arsenal. And I think it's better to live somewhere when you're still liked, you know, such that the next time Xhaka comes in at Arsenal to be into the stands to watch the game, fans will be screaming his name. But you don't know what next season is going to be for Grant Xhaka. He might be frustrated for not getting enough playing time because that is very much anticipated. He aren't going to be getting enough playing time as has been getting in this season because Arsenal is going to bring in close to two or three central midfielders and that really puts him way back into the pecking order of Mikel Arteta. So Gilberto Silva, I understand his point, but the fact is Xhaka has also understood that he might not be in the plans of Mikel Arteta next season. That's why he's really pushing out of the club. Now, I brought you a story of over uh, the captain of Feyenoord, Olkun Kokchu, and I came and I told you that Arsenal are looking at him to be one of the Xhaka replacements, but it looks like Arsenal have gone ahead to lose him to Benfica. And Fabrizio Romano told us the following about the lad. 22 years of age. Benfica are closing in on a deal to sign Orkun Kokchu. 30 million euros fee for Feyenoord. Sell on close around 20%. Contract until June 2028. Medical test book this week. 120 million release closed into Benfica contract. That is it. Final. Here we go. Coming soon. So, after that, he was seen arriving in Portugal to undergo his medical. This player is one of those that Mikel Arteta has been looking at to come in through and obviously be the replacement of Grant Tijaka. But Benfica have acted quick and they've taken him on. Now, he's a very good player and uh, watch out for him 
in next year's Champions League, he's really going to be playing a very huge part into that team. Like you saw Enzo Fernandez, he just played six months there and he was sold at 120 million euros to Chelsea. They've gone ahead to put the release clause, the same release clause, into the contract of this Turkish international. And trust me, teams are going to come out for him madly to sign him. And we've been talking about him for a very long time. And you get to know who Orkun Kokcho is. Because when I did the story about him being the Grand Tijaka replacement, most of you are asking me, who is that guy? Who is that guy? Who is that guy? But he's very talented. He's very talented. Trust me, next summer, he's going to be one of those players that are going to be attracting a lot of interest from teams like Arsenal, Man United, Chelsea, Liverpool, Real Madrid, Barcelona, because of what is going to go ahead and be really put on the field of play down in Portugal. So, Arsenal have got ahead to miss out on him, but we understand why. They don't want to spend any penny away on any other player, not until they get the Declan Rice deal out of the way. Fabricia told us that a bid is going to be put in by Arsenal very, very soon after the finale. But today is Friday, today is Saturday, three days after the final, no bid has been put yet. I don't know why, but it looks like very soon we are going to see a bid go through. So your thoughts on Jack Wilshere dropping a huge Declan Rice to Arsenal transfer hint are welcome in the comment section below. What do you make about Xhaka, you know, as Gilberto Silva is thinking that would have gone ahead to stay for one more year. Do you agree with him or not? And lastly, what do you make of Arsenal losing Kokchu to Benifica? I sign out for now. See you later and I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Enjoy your Saturday. My Muslim friends, may Allah guide you and protect you abundantly. Me out.